waiting. Will it be our guest? So we're about 45 minutes late for our reservation. We had an absolute mare getting here today. We're not even going to talk about it. It's over. It's on. We're here. So we're now going to eat. I'm like joined by my lovely husband. So we've got like two breakfasts today. This being the first. So when food comes, I will let you know what we've got. Food has arrived. I've got the cronut and the grey stuff, of course. You get these included. Shane got the grey stuff. And he also got the croque madame. Now all of this, as you can see, that's $60 worth of food, which to me is not a lot for $60. The portions are quite small to be honest. You know that. That's, that's not worth the money. So that's why we're doing it on the dining plan. Because we would never ever normally pay this much money for this small amount of food. You know, $60, you want a buffet, not, you know, basically a pound of sandwich. So that's why we're doing it on the dining plan, making the most of it. It's always worth looking at where you're going to get the most for your dining plan points because we're trying to use it for things we wouldn't normally spend out on. And this is perfect. Just come out of um, be I guess not find Emma's twin brother. Look, twins. <laughs> Spit an image. Also, Mel from The Walking Dead. Mel from The Walking Dead, yeah. Good show. Good story, my friends. Good show. Good show. Mm -hmm. So I just finished in Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom? Be our guest. Be our guest. Which, very tasty, but definitely not worth the money. Is that grubby? But we're done, we're done it. Yeah. That's all about the dining plan, so we thought we'd do it anyway. Because well, we need to use our credits up. You are essentially paying, like for instance, I had the Krona. You're essentially paying $25 for a donut. For a glorified donut. I mean, which you can pay $5 for in yes. Epcot. It is <laughs> available at the refreshment port in Epcot, and you can now get ice cream on the top. So, would you do that? Would you pay $25? For a donut that you can get for five dollars somewhere else. Update on our day. What have we done so far, babe? Been to be our guest. Been to be our guest. Got the great stuff. Had the great stuff. Uh, it's about that. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, and we went on. Which side did we go on the left? Uh, you had to go through the queue to the right side. Yeah, and then the other night we went on the opposite side. Two totally different things. I had no idea. Right hand side is definitely more vigorous. Yeah. Very good really, about it. Yeah, really threw me about today. Very good then. Yeah. Um, so that's, uh, we've just ridden Big Thunder. And now we're stepping it to... Seven Dwarfs. Seven Dwarfs, yes. And then we're going to Moti Park Fair. For our second breakfast. <laughs> second breakfast. Back. Funny thing though, uh, on our um, app today, the fast pass for Seven Dwarfs had gone like totally blank and so we went up to the guy and like asked because you know like if you get given an extra fast pass it sometimes looks like the little balloon thing with no name it was doing that so we were like oh we're getting an extra fast pass and then when we like looked at it it turned out that our Seven Dwarfs fast pass had just gone so we went and asked someone and he said it is still there but if there's any problems to just go back to him so I'm kind of hoping that there are problems and then we just get given another fast pass. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, bit of a walk. We've literally been from one side of the park to another over and over again today and Shane keeps walking into me. I'm trying to stay close. <laughs> oh, 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 that makes a change. It's <laughs> been very complimentary today. Just today? Just today. Only on Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> I always say only on Tuesdays. Turns out today is actually yeah. Tuesday. Try <laughs> being nice. That's why it's been nice. Come tomorrow. Here go. Here go. Hey. <laughs> will you buy me a drink later? No. Oh. See, it's already wearing off. I ain't got any money. We're getting near Wednesday. It's already wearing off. I've not off. got any money. All, all I have in my pockets is car keys and a phone. You've got all the money. Oh, I've got all the money. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. I'm going to go. We haven't been to the gym in a few days and apparently my arm's about to fall off. <laughs>
comes with a Mickey straw. So just wanted to let you know where we got it from. Where was that then? Huh? Where was it? Wise Nook. Yes, out the back of the castle. <laughs> Just arrived at the Grand Floridian, and it is pretty grand, actually. To be honest with you, uh, is it mine? Yes. Hello. What, and what are we here to do? Uh, I don't know. I'm ready for my pizza. Eat all the foods at 1900 Puckville. I want to stick my head in the basin. Though. It's got a basin in here as well, which I'm sure we'll go into, and then we'll get some bath bombs. For later on. We've got a hot tub in our condo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a pretty small bath at the minute in the wilderness lodge, haven't we? Yeah, but I am definitely appreciating the tub because we don't have a tub at home. And it's just, although it looks really small, it's just the right like depth to have a little dippy dip. Dippy dip. Mr. P. Hello. What was your experience of 1900 Park Fair like? What was my experience? Yes. Or how did was my experience? All of the above. Yes. In fairness, I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. We got to see all the characters very quickly, pretty much before the evening. So that was good. And the food was very good as well. All in all, I had eggs, bread, breakfast, meats. And enlighten our watchers as to how expensive this meal would have been if we had to pay for it. It should have been $98, including a glass of champagne each. <coughs> but we were lucky enough to be on the Disney Deluxe Diet Plan, so we didn't have to pay a penny. Yay! All had to pay was gratuity. In other news, this lighting is spiffing on you. Oh, oh, look at that tiny white! <laughs> Well, I was literally then about to say you look very good in this lighting and then you ruined it with that face. Aww. Oh, sad. <laughs> One thing I've heard about me is that sometimes you can wait quite a long time to see the character. Literally, a minute after you sat down. You haven't even sat down, have you? No. My cat always sat over there and he got up the So, it was literally from the point where he came to eat her, bang, 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 one after the other, wasn't it? And that was it, we were free to eat. Free to eat, yeah. And so, I would highly recommend if you really want to come here and try to see the new character, get us a mid morning reservation because it's so quiet. It's hardly anyone on there. Yes, like the food's run out a little bit, but we were a bit late. So, like, get us a little friend of the opening time in the morning, and you'll probably get the characters really quickly as we did. So, it's a massive, massive bonus. So, I would say. Can we just appreciate the intricacy that is in this chocolate sculpture right here? Just to show you that it's legitimately chocolate, hand decorated. I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. And I'd hate to think the amount of hours that have gone into creating this. Absolutely spectacular. Look what it says. It says one shoe can change your life. That's it, down at Magic Kingdom, down at the Grand Floridian, done everything. 
now it's time for Africa. Yeah! Apparently, we get the whole tram to ourselves. <laughs> so, looks like we are pretty much the only ones on this tram. Oh no, one person. Nearly the only ones on the tram. Take us back to the car. So we can go back to the room, have a little spruce up. And then go on to Epcot and drink around the world. What Is that necessary? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on, but there's filming going on today. Don't know who this lady is in the yellow. She's probably gonna turn around in a minute and be like super duper famous and I'm just gonna have a freak out. Back at Epcot again for some serious round the world drinking. Going to try and do as many of the countries as we can alongside all of the Bit of pop-up bars as well. Oh yeah, okay. We're going through the pass holder entrance as we uh, upgraded to APs yesterday. Whoa! So we went back to the room, had a quick spruce up. I'm now wearing a dishcloth, and Shane's looking fancy pants. Drink time. So here I have my wonderful, beautiful assistant. We're at the, we're at the first pop-up bar. It's pineapple promenade, and I will be having the. Coastal IPA with pineapple because that sounds delicious. And I believe Emma is going to go for the Violet Lemonade Ale. Violet Lemonade Ale. They all look so good and they wish one to have. Do it. What do I get the beer flight? Do it. Do I have the pineapple beer flight? Just do it. As mentioned earlier on in one of our earlier bits, we went to be our guest this morning and Emma had a basically a croissant donut and it costs $25. If you look here at the refreshment port at Epcot, you can get pretty much the same thing, $5.79. So although you may want to go to be our guest, don't go. Get the donut, get the donut croissant from here. Plus you have all the drinks. Just want to talk about this Ottawa apple from the popcorn part in Canada. This is like drinking licorice. This is probably my favourite thing in the whole of like Epcot. Beaver butt soap. Dog team drool. Moose bit. So we're going into our favourite place, the Rose and Crown. Hello. 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 Hello, mate. Hello. Hello. It's me. It's me. I'm going to get on a big spaceship. What want to come. <laughs> What's that from? Can't tell you. Yeah, you can. Thor. Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok. We watched it on the plane, and there's a rock monstery thing that speaks South, South African. Rock man. Rock man. Call it. And uh, this is Shane's new favourite thing, isn't it? <laughs> Hello. I can't do the accent thing. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can. Hello. It's me. 
Gonna go on go a on. big spaceship. That was good. Wanna come? Say white bread, brown bread. No. Go on. White bread, brown bread. In not in South African you nugget. White bread. <laughs> no. White bread. White bread. Brown bread. Brown bread. Hello. <laughs> it's me. It's me. <laughs> Got a guy in the big spaceship. Wanna come? In other in other news. No time. Daytime! Daytime! Hey man, what you doing? I'm looking for daytime, daytime, what a blame! We're so easily amused! You got out of the Hello everyone, and welcome to the UK! Do you like British rock? Well, get ready for British Revolution! Are you ready? Hey, are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Another one best us. Emma has got a caramel and vanilla martini with whipped cream flavoured vodka and I have an apple cinnamon crumble crunch with a candied peanut with the, also with the whipped cream vodka. It's going to be an interesting combination I believe. So in essence what we actually have is alcoholic ice cream, I didn't really realise that. Yes we are. <laughs> it is delicious. <laughs> Just for reference though, the vodka is very strong. So, a little bit of ice cream, a little bit of vodka. I fear that my combination of ice creams to vodka is a little bit out of the way. The vodka is so strong in comparison. But Emma, and her vanilla, just tastes like vanilla. Vanilla ice cream and whipped cream and vodka is the one. And Shane has a better tolerance for things that are gross than me. <laughs> then he's struggling. So if you're going to get one of these martinis, don't get the cinnamon ice cream, the peanut candy ice cream with the whipped cream vodka. Can we just discuss my husband? He's standing over here being really creepy. Look, just look how creepy he's being. <laughs> he's so creepy. There's a woman standing right opposite him as well. Immediately, I mean, look. <laughs> back to find a wife. We have met up with some friends who are actually our friends back in England. We just happen to be at the same time. So we met up with them, we get a drink with them and we think they're going to come to Beer Garden with us. If we get them in, that is. Now I'm just trying to find them. And, oh, I can see them. There they are. Hey Beeps, sorry we've ignored you for so long. We've met up with some friends. So we've been a little bit busy drinking and having far too much fun. So at the minute we're off to Beer Garden to see if we can get our friends in with us. Hang on, let's show, show friends. Friends. Say hello friends. <laughs> There's friends from where we live. 
we're back in England. <laughs> <That's a shame. laughs> we used to get shots from the little cart over there in Germany. We cannot get shots there anymore. So now you have to get shots in wine cellar. Oh, oh. It's like moonshine. Okay, we're probably going to say no to that. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. I think that one's a no. So we have all got the same shot. What is it? Shot. Does anyone shot. actually know what shot we have? A German Kidding. shot. Some sort of German shot. So, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. To the schnitzels. <laughs> Uh, it's like apple juice. Really? That was nice. Sorry, that, was <laughs> that was actually really nice. It tastes like an apple. It tastes like an apple sour, doesn't it? It's like an apple sour. It's it's very like sour. Crazy. We should have went for the pear one. I have a little conundrum for you. How on earth did they get that massive pear in this tiny little bottle? Send your answers on the postcard, guys. So this is beer garden. It is very big. And there is a stage right there. There'll be some entertainment in a little while. But before that, hey babe. Hello. What are you drinking? A liter of beer, Stein. <laughs> How do you say it properly? Steiner. Yeah. It's really, really nice in here. Yeah. But you sit like family style. So we sit on a big table, there's four of us, and this is the other four people. We have our food. I'm not going one. Check this bad boy out. Also, we have a litre of beer. Yes. Ready? A whole litre stein of beer. It's bigger than my hand. <laughs> Marvellous. Oh, yes. How'd you leave your beer? Look at that look. What an animal. <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. That is so nice. <laughs> Animals. 